हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू अनदर सेशन ऑन जेम्स ऑफ ज्योमेट्री सो वी हैव कम विद अनदर थ्योरम इन दिस थ्योरम इट सेज इन अ ट्रायंगल द एंगल बाइसेक्टर ऑफ द स्मॉलर एंगल इज ग्रेटर देन द एंगल बाइसेक्टर ऑफ द ग्रेटर एंगल ओके दैट मींस लेट मी ट्राई एंड एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू ऑल सो लेट अस से इन ट्रायंगल एबीसी सो here is the given part there's a triangle given triangle abc given triangle abc okay such that angle b angle b is less than angle c this is given okay we have to prove to prove what do we need to prove we need to prove so angle b so it says in a triangle the angle bisector of the smaller angle so bm is bisector of bisector of angle b here and uh, what else cn is bisector of angle c okay now since angle b is less than angle c so we have to prove that bm is greater than cn okay so angle bisector of the smaller angle that is b is greater than the angle bisector of the greater angle let's try and prove this guys and uh, for this proof we will be using the theorem we proved in the previous session and let me write it here on the side lines so we have to use this theorem theorem is that uh chord subtending subtending smaller angle smaller angle smaller angle on the circle is smaller okay what does this mean so you can go back and check our previous session so uh, what i meant was this so let's say ab is the smaller chord and uh, let's say uh cd is the larger chord so hence ab will subtend let's say a pb and cd is subtending c qd so we can say if if angle a p b is less than angle c qd c qd then ap ab sorry ab is smaller than cd this we proved last time okay in the last session so you you will be using this particular theorem so you can go back to the previous session and see what exactly is the theorem about now coming back to this proof so hence we are saying we have to prove bm is greater than c and for that we need to do some construction what's the construction so construction is pick a point here m let's say m dash okay such that b m dash let me just join this m dash c yeah so construction angle m dash c n is equal to angle n b m n b m or m b m dash whichever right so we have to choose a point m dash in such a way that m dash c n is equal to n b m right so what is n b m if you if you really see this is nothing but this is half of angle b is it right because b m is a angle bisector similarly here this angle will be also half of angle b because we are purposefully choosing this point now if you look closely if you do this construction what will happen so proof since of since angle m dash c n is equal to angle n b m dash so you can imagine this to be a chord let's say i'm joining m dash n okay so let me join it a little bit more clearly so hence okay let me join this m dash n. right so if you see it it looks like 
what does it look like guys it looks like it's it looks like that there is a circle which is passing through these points so there so passing through these point and hence hence it it looks like it looks like b n m dash and c are concyclic or concyclic that is they lie on the same circle because if you see m m dash n looks like a chord so this is a chord which is subtending equal angle at two different points of the circle correct so they are concyclic if they are concyclic then what do we know uh yes so now let's so these are the concyclic points so hence if you see angle n b c right is equal to nothing but 2 times half of angle b correct right can i say that so hence this can be written as half of angle b plus half of angle b now one of these angle half of angle b can be written as let's say angle m dash c n right plus half of angle b right now this can be written as angle m dash c n because m dash c n was also half of angle b so hence can i not now instead of this equality can i not write this that it is less than half of angle c why because angle b is less than angle c given so angle b by 2 will be less than angle c by 2 so hence i can write this right so hence it is less than angle m dash c n plus half of angle c is nothing but angle n c b this angle here is half of angle c because nc was the bisector correct so this means this is less than right what is it less than m dash cb m dash cb so you can see this right because m dash cn plus ncb is m dash cb correct so what did we conclude we now infer that in angle nbc is less than angle m dash cb now if you see these are two angles on the same circle nbc nbc can you see nbc here nbc is let me just highlight this angle nbc this is nbc guys right and what is the other one is this this angle right so nbc is less than m dash cb that means the chord which is subtending nbc will be lesser than the chord which is some subtending m dash cb so what is and and how how do we know that because of this particular theorem so hence we can conclude from here that is since nbc is less than so nbc is opposite nc so nc nc is less than bm dash isn't it nc will be less than bm dash because n m dash c b are concyclic points n m dash being the chord uh, and similarly n c being the chord and b m is also b m dash is also the chord so hence angle subtended by b n will be um i'm sorry uh, angle subtended by n c so n c you can see angle subtended by n c is nothing but angle b and angle subtended by b m dash is angle c not not angle c m dash c b rather right so this so from this theorem we conclude that nc is less than bm dash now bm dash is part of bm so hence from this we can conclude that nc is less than bm also is it bm dash itself is less than bm so hence nc will be less than bm let me just yeah make it in the same frame so you can understand so i hope now this is better so nc is less than bm we proved that and that is what we needed to prove isn't it so if you see to prove was here this one so hence this is from here directly bm is greater than cn correct 
So hence we conclude that in a triangle the angle bisector of the smaller angle is greater than the angle bisector of the greater angle.